What's going on guys, Seth and Chevy here. We just watched episode 14 of Demon Slayer. Quick recap. We are uh, in a post uh, Scooby-Doo Mansion uh, story arc at this point where we have um, essentially found out who Boarhead Guy is. Uh, Inosuke, mm -hmm. that's the dude's name. Apparently a uh, feminine and petite faced uh, dude who's very aggressive and all about fucking uh, pride and ego and, and wanting to fucking destroy anything in his path. Uh at the end of last episode, Tanjiro jumped at him to uh, essentially um, avenge, to help uh, uh, Zenitsu uh, after his pummeling. And uh, in this episode, we see the uh, the fist uh, contact Inosuke breaking his ribs, um, which only made Inosuke uh, more excited. Uh, that the situation got a little more exciting for him, in which he wants to fight Tanjiro uh, hand to hand. Essentially, uh, getting punched by him for him was an invite to do uh, some some bare bare knuckle fucking fighting. Um, some really good animation, uh, some of the best I've seen um, in a long time when it comes to like um, hand to hand combat. Uh, we saw in this episode, it was really fucking cool to watch Tanjiro and uh, Inosuke fighting. Um, in that scene went along on a lot longer than I thought it would and um, yeah as that fight goes on uh, Tanjiro eventually headbutts Inosuke fucking uh, uh, not quite finishing him there but eventually uh, he <laughs> has a concussion that catches up with him and it knocks him out uh, when he wakes up he's fucking ready to fight again but they're all uh, essentially cleaning the house and trying to take care of all the uh, bodies that are in the mansion um, in which he's not interested at all in in helping with that because he's trying to continue where they left off before uh, funny scene where Tanjiro is essentially telling him he's not he's not like fully you know ready to fight right now he should get some rest all this stuff kind of downplaying him while he wants to fight which is just every every time he's kind of denying him this you can see it's kind of like whittling him away and uh yeah, they say goodbye to the three kids that give them, uh, well, the crow pukes up a fucking um, wisteria uh, bag that is a uh, uh, demon deterrent, apparently. This is something that has been introduced to me at this point. I didn't know it was a thing. Um, so that they can essentially go home uh, and not have to worry about uh, demons, which is nice. Um, during the time, fucking Inosuke is in the background headbutting trees because he's still frustrated about what happened before um they're told by the crow that puked up the wisteria charm uh that they need to go down the mountain to a location that they end up going to um in which they meet an old lady at uh, some kind of establishment and uh she is very accommodating so much so that uh, uh zenitsu assumes she's some kind of monster because of how quick she is to give them food, give them bedding, get a doctor to tell them they're all fucked up. Um, <laughs> apparently, they all got broken ribs. Uh, I, I thought it was funny how it showed the number of each one of the ribs. Um, and, yeah, they kind of have a quick little uh, get-to-know-each-other moment while they're all chilling, um, in which uh, they bring up um, Inosuke was at the final selection and they're wondering what his his ambition was for joining the demon slayer corp in which he's essentially just ran into somebody while the final selection was happening 
challenged the dude, took a sword, and then decided to just fucking participate in the final selection because it sounded cool to him. Um, <laughs> apparently, also, he doesn't have family. So that was revealed in that and situation. Lives in and lives in the mountains, which also Tanjiro's from the mountains as well. So they got that in common. But Inosuke does not want to discuss that, um, them having anything in common. Then uh, uh, Zenitsu uh, brings up something that he was uh, talking about possibly bringing up in the last episode where he wants to ask uh, Tanjiro about uh, what's in the box specifically, knowing that there is a demon in there. He wants to know why he has one with him. Um, and yeah, funny scene plays out where uh, uh, <laughs> very, very slow paced uh, uh, Nezuko is slowly opening the door and the whole time. Uh, Zenitsu's fucking freaking out because he's just like <laughs> coming to terms with that he's gonna see the fucking monster. Um, and Inosuke is uh, pretty much done with the situation at this point. He's trying to go to sleep and then ends up uh, kicking fucking Zenitsu in the head. And uh, he's like lay on the ground, fucking staring at the box, and then he goes, Ugh, but he doesn't like get up or move. <laughs> and uh, as soon as the door opens, he like fucking freaks out. And then realizes uh, there's a girl in there. And uh, we all know how he fucking thinks about girls. Uh, he's very passionate about two things. One, not taking any credit for being able to do anything or help himself and wanting to die. And two, um, being excited about girls. So uh, he freaks out. And the rest of the episode is him just freaking out about how uh, Tanjiro essentially had a girl uh, in his box that he's been carrying on with him this whole time. And he's talking about essentially how he's upset about that. And then he kind of turns that into, he's betraying the demon slayer court by doing this. <laughs> and, uh, he's going to exact wrath for, uh, the demon slayer corp on its behalf over this, uh, thing that he's taking very personal. Um, this overall was a uh, a good episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, we got a really cool action scene in the beginning. Um, we got to see how flexible Inosuke is, which was almost disturbing at one point. Um, it's also really a big surprise for me when he took the the boar head off, and Zenitsu at first glance thought he was a girl, um, and then realized he just has more of like a feminine he's face. Very feminine, but then yeah. Tanjiro says that he's like an attractive dude, so he just doesn't fit the mold of like some like hardcore warrior dude. Because I guess he's just like, you know, he's just too like, yeah, he's too pretty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> Which I think I, I was not expecting that. I was expecting with his voice and stuff to be something a little more gruff. So mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of at first I was like, that's what he looks like. That's interesting. Um, but I like it because I wasn't expecting it. So. Um, that was cool. Uh, but yeah, the the hand-to-hand -hand combat scene was really fucking cool. Um, I really enjoyed that a lot. Um, it was also a lot of fun because I think uh, both characters in the fight were uh, our, our characters I think are cool. So um, it, it was just kind of interesting to kind of see that, uh, you know, no one's going to die, but it's still like a fight scene that's neat. Um, a lot of comedy in the, the episode, which I really enjoy. Uh, this show's got a really good sense of humor. Um, and now that we have this um, this mesh of Tanjiro being the, uh, the 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 pretty normal hero type character, the one that wants to do good, is morally just, all that stuff, and then we got this like self doubting whiny, and that's under that's not even saying it fully, <laughs> uh, guy who wants to die. <laughs> Uh, and then this dude who only wants to kill and fucking destroy and uh, essentially enjoy himself. Um, Everything's competition. Yeah. Uh, we have this really interesting dynamic of characters um, that uh, not only lends itself to uh, hopefully some cool action later. I really would like to see what it's going to be like with, with these three characters together. Uh, but um, the dynamic is a lot of fun and the comedy is a lot of fun because they're so different. Uh, as characters, which I, I really enjoyed in this episode. I also liked finding out a little more about each character. Every episode's kind of given little tidbits on everybody, so they're kind of getting fleshed out over time, which I appreciate, especially in these like you know short episodes. Um, it's good to, that they're even giving anything at all in, in each episode. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm curious about where they go from here, but this episode really felt like some um, almost like well-deserved like uh, I don't want to say downtime but like it was almost like a, a comedic break uh, we got some story for from the characters we got to know the characters 
but it was just a fun episode overall and uh even even with the comedy we were treated with a really cool action scene so uh better than i think we saw in the the demon uh arc that we just watched before that so um pretty cool i I really like this episode and i am definitely curious to see uh where things go next because we really didn't get much info on that we're really just kind of diving into characters in this episode so yeah yeah um i do think it's worth noting that during the final selection process they had mentioned uh that wisteria was a repellent uh so uh i mean i probably saw that but at this point it didn't click yeah yeah yeah. i'm just bringing it up that's why the, those trees were surrounding the area to um, keep yeah. that area safe. That so, makes sense. Um, and then this property as well has wisteria trees around it as well. So that's just something that the Demon Slayer cores do for their bases. Mm-hmm. So. That makes sense. <clears throat> um, they need to start planting those in cities, towns. Just everywhere. Houses, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I... I had forgotten about the the hand hand scene, so that actually was a nice treat because it had completely escaped my my brain. So it was like watching it for the first time all over again. Though the flexibility part, uh, I remembered immediately. <laughs> as yeah. As start doing it. I like how he's just talking about like, what do you repeat twice? Some about like how good he was. Yes. And then he did like. Uh, I'm amazing, right? I'm amazing, yeah. right? Yeah. And then he talks about he's like, check out how flexible I am, and he fucking does like this weird back bending thing where he's under his own legs. I'm just like, All and right. he starts laughing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's impressed with himself. He wants them to be impressed as well. Um. Yeah, and then, uh, like you said, just comedy the whole the whole way through. Uh, I also like how constantly Inosuke is like trying to pick a fight, even when, like stealing his food and stuff like that, mm. just like staring him in the face while doing it, and laughing. Just trying to get a rise out of him, and even right before he falls asleep, he's like, "What did I do to make him mad earlier?" Because he's like trying; he wants to pick a fight, and yeah. he's just not. He he's won't. Gotta, fight. He's yeah. got to beat the fuck out of somebody who doesn't deserve it um. for that to happen. <laughs> um, I also thought it was funny too when he there's just like three beds; they're all the same. And he's like he jumped on the first one. He's like, "Haha, this one's mine." Right, trying to find yeah, something, and yeah. like no one cared, and he's just like, "The fuck." <laughs> And he's like, that's fine. You can have whatever so pissed one you off want. That he was ignored, and they moved on to Zenitsu's conversation that he got through the pillow in Zenitsu's face. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he fucking chucked that thing too. Uh, so yeah, it was a fun episode. Um, you know, this is one of the big reasons I like anime. They can go from serious to comedy, and somehow it still fits. So yeah, if it's done well enough, for yeah. sure. But yeah, it's a fun episode for sure. Um, uh, the next episode is a pretty good one too, as far as like uh, without going too deep into it. Uh, world building, so cool. I am excited for that. Uh, anything else? Nope. All right. Well, uh, join us uh, for episode fifteen. Our review will be coming out very soon. And let me know in the comments what you think of episode fourteen, the one we just watched. Anything in this episode um, that uh, you know was particularly interesting to you? Something you enjoyed? Maybe you're revisiting the episode. Something you always really liked about it? And uh, no spoilers, please. And yeah, I've been Seth. This has been Chevy, and we'll see you on episode fifteen. <laughs>